Hi, my name is Casey with Cropster. Today I'm going to show you how to use our cupping app, Cropster Cup. The app currently works on the iPhone and iPad, and for this video I'm logging in on my iPad. After logging in, you will see all your open cupping sessions. These sessions have been scheduled before in your Cropster account online. I'm going to open the first session here. Cropster Cup works with multiple customizable cupping sheets. For this video, we are using the Cup of Excellence sheet. Below, I can see that four coffees are in this blind cupping session. In my example, they are labeled A, B, C, and D. Cropster Cup shows one sheet per coffee sample. Swipe through the sheets or click on the sample labels in the lower toolbar to switch between them. Go back and forth to review the samples during a session. All right, let's start cupping a coffee. We'll select the clean cup and set it to 8 and the sweetness to 7.5. On the top right, you can see the final store is calculated. Here it is 8 and 7.5 plus the COE delta of 36. You can use these sliders to set the intensity quickly. Now let's enter a descriptor. Descriptors can be positive or negative, and can have an intensity too. Let's try this with apple. So I've typed apple and hit enter. You can touch the word to change its properties. By default, apple is positive with a medium intensity. You can leave it as is, or change its intensity. Here I'll give it a high intensity. Now let's try a negative descriptor, like rubber. Again, I type rubber in the descriptor box, hit enter, and I'll click on rubber to, sh to modify its properties. We'll set rubber to negative with a low intensity. Cropster Cup comes with a standard set of descriptors, but you can also create your own in the app. The up arrow shows a high intensity for apple, while the minus sign before rubber shows that it is negative and the down arrow means it has a low intensity. Cropster Cup comes with a standard set of descriptors, but you can also create your own in the app. Depending on your cupping sheet, you can enter general notes or select the roast level. Here we'll say the roast level was just a little bit off target, and I could type something in the general notes if I wanted to. Tap overview on the top right to see the results. The app presents you with an overview of all your open samples so that you can compare the values. I can go back to the cupping form to continue cupping. Once I've finished cupping, I have to click Submit down here at the bottom to submit my results. Please do not forget to submit the results. Submitting will not only save the results to the Cropster server, it will also close your cupping sheet. Sessions cannot be edited after they've been submitted. The results from all cuppers will be stored in your Cropster account and leaked to the correct sample or roast. You can review the calculated results there. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you have a great experience with Cropster Cup.